Well, showing off their beautiful holiday cheer, Minden lighting up the sky once again. NTV's Janelle Helton is joining us now this morning to talk about the Christmas City. This is your first ever show us something good. It is. Yeah, tell us about all about the Christmas City. Now, Sarah, seeing the lights for the first time, I was inspired to dive into the story of how 12,000 bulbs changed the face of a city. It's once again time for Minden's annual Christmas Holiday Festival. This historic event is a staple for residents across central Nebraska, spanning more than 100 years. It's so popular, Marcy Brandt, a volunteer with the Minden Chambers Committee, says it's landed the city a special name. Minden became the Christmas city because in 1915, our community light commissioner, I think that was a title back in, back in the day, uh, so the city light commissioner decided he wanted to welcome visitors to the town with a, a string of lights from the train station to the downtown square. And so weather got bad, and so he changed his plan and put them up on the courthouse dome. And ever since then, they just kind of became a tradition, and he lit up the, the courthouse dome, and it's been that way ever since. So then we were declared the Christmas city by the governor. One of the highlights, the light of the world, a Christmas pageant performed by local residents on the side of the courthouse square. According to Ben Murray, the event is a source of pride, not only for the community, but also his family. Light of the world Christmas pageant itself. And um, that was created back in 1946 uh, by my dad who wrote the script and uh, he, he directed it for 25 years and then retired. And then a wonderful guy by the name of Ted Grease took over. He was a teacher up at that school. And he took it over for 10 years or better. And then he left. Uh, and so I, was, I had moved back home. So I was already helping Ted. And I stepped into the plate and did it for over 30 years. So it was time for me to, to move on and uh, I said to my son, Matt, we were having Thanksgiving dinner one night. And I said, hey, you know what, son? I think it's time for you to take over. With so much legacy behind it, I asked Maury what the spectacular event means to him personally. The lights go on in the courthouse, which is so spectacular. I said, you know, uh, I'm answering a higher authority. For me, it's memories. Memory. Memories that only get brighter each year as each bulb illuminates in the holly jolly spirit of family, community, and Christmas. I went to the pageant on Saturday, and it was really incredible to see it all come together. I'm really excited to continue telling stories about the good here in Nebraska. And if you want your story told, please email me at news at nebraska.tv, or you can call me or text me at 308-627-7372. This is a great gig. I love, you know, you get to see the good in the community in central Nebraska. So Definitely. looking forward to what you can do on Monday, next Monday. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jenna.